guys, welcome back to another episode of Journey Girl Gaming. I hope you guys are having an amazing day as usual. In today's gameplay video, we're going to take on the challenge of only using the max number of items for each single theme. So I have to use 24 items for everything that we do today. Are you guys ready? Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we are doing today is neon. So this is going to be neon interesting Bruh. so i think for neon i'm gonna do something that's kind of like checkers and some green but we're gonna have to use 24 items so let's see if we can do this so first off let's go ahead and change our skin tone and i'm gonna head over here and grab this all right that looks really good and then i'm gonna make it kind of like a green color for that next up we're gonna head over here and grab a item a code item now we're going to be using the top for this next up we're gonna go over here and add a necklace and we are gonna make it kind of like a hot pink and i'm kind of getting an idea with this i want to use multiple necklaces so let's try to get another one on and make it hot pink as well okay that adds a nice flair to it and add some pants and i'm thinking about these and i'm going to make those dark like this let's go and add these fur warmers right here and make those checkered as well i'm gonna add this skirt and i'm gonna make it this color and then i'm going to make it this color like that adding a bow or something just to kind of give it a little bit extra but this would actually be pretty good for neon hair because we can make one side that color and then the other side this color so i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay this is looking really bright already like totally totally bright all right let's go and add this and we're gonna be using the skirt only and i I think I'm gonna make that green as well. This is already oh, actually not God. looking super bad. Some shoes. I'm gonna go for these just to keep it simple. Let's go ahead and add some more hairstyles. Now this will help fill out the slots, I think, pretty much. Thinking maybe this. Next up, let's go over here and add a face. This is looking good so far, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go over here and maybe get a purse or something just to fill up some more room. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and add these and take the fur off, but go ahead and make it look like that. That's not looking too bad. A belt to it maybe, I don't know, like, this is so weird, this is so weird. I don't know exactly what I'm Bruh. doing now. We definitely need to add the jelly fish skirt. I think this would be a nice addition to it. Let's see, I wanna go ahead and add this too, just to keep adding more necklaces and stuff. And let's see, maybe we could add a few more hairstyles just to make it a bit more crazy. So let's see if we can like do that, do this too. Like this is, this is nuts. Like oh, look at this, this is God. absolutely nuts. This is just really, really weird like this is electrifying look at the hair like absolutely and i don't have too much more time like i don't think i'm gonna actually make this honestly like i'm trying to add as many items as i can to this fine okay so we got the maximum number of items reached just in time so let's see how this works the so first up we have hanny this is definitely a nice outfit i love the bright green colors i'm gonna give this probably a four stars it's nice and to the point next up we have asuna this is not super bad i do think it could have been like have a bit more to it maybe with the hairstyle and stuff like that i'm gonna give that maybe like a three next up we have panda bomb now this is very nice it kind of looks like a cozy, bright green, neon, relaxing outfit. You know what I mean. So I'm going to give that one three stars too, actually. I'll just say little boy. Okay. Bright glowing outfit. That is a bit glowing and bright. I do think it could have used some shoes. I don't see any shoes unless she's got some on. But I'm going to go and give that a three too. Next up we have me. So let's show them how it's done with neon. <laughs> Man, this turned out crazy. Absolutely crazy with the neon. Next up, we have pink. I'm not sure how this is neon. This isn't Bruh. like exactly bright and glowing. So I'm going to give it a two. I don't think this is quite fitting with the theme. Next up, we have Maddie Cookie Monster. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Like this is bright. Oh my God and glowing for sure i'm gonna give this one a five like i like how they did it with a dark style like that that's very very nice next up we have amanda all right this is bright bluey and cheerful 
I'm not super sure about the artist thing and Bruh. all that, so I'm gonna give it a three, maybe. Last but not least, we have Cutie Tulips. Good oh lord, that is neon fantastic. They're neon fantastic. I'm gonna give that one a four, even though it looks weird. It all right, let's see who the winner is. I got third place. Are you joking? Good lord. <laughs> Well, 24 items got us third place by that shot. All right, the next theme we're gonna do is Secret Harry. So we have to kind of dress up as someone from the office, kind of like an office sign or something like that. The first thing I'm gonna go do is put on some eyelashes, I think, for this, just to kind of add a nice, pretty touch to it. So let's go ahead and get that. And I like using Toggle 3. Next up, let's go over and do our hair. Now we can choose several hairstyles that'll definitely fill up some of the slots for us. So we're gonna go with some bangs and make those brown. This one and making it brown. It's gonna be brown as well, like this. Next up, let's add this one and also make it brown. We're gonna add this one too and make it brown. Add some of these bangs and make it brown. So that's already taking up like seven item slots just with the hairstyle alone but that looks great which is right here and we're gonna make it white next up let's add this and we're gonna try to i think make it dark next up let's go over here and add this skirt we're gonna use this flowery pattern right here for this next up we're gonna use this shirt and we're gonna color it the same as well but we're also gonna go with some dark colors something like this this is actually not looking super bad next up let's go over and add these stackings i think another thing i want to do too is maybe add some boots to this just to add a little bit of another touch and i'm gonna take it up our item slide let's go add this and we're gonna make it black like that Let's go over here and add some cool necklaces and stuff to take up some item slots. So I'm going to make that dark. And we're also going to add some earrings. I want to add two earrings for this. Next up, let's go add one more item. I think it's going to be in the form of this jacket. And we're going to make it dark like that. Okay, now this looks good. Oh Not going to lie, this God. is looking good. She's looking like a secretary. We got still got some more item slots to use up, but I'm kind of wondering what to even do. Maybe we could add a cell phone. Maybe a belt too. Oh, I was about to add that belt. We've already reached the maximum number of items, which is good. So I think this is what we're going to go ahead and go with. Like, I don't know. Maybe it'll work, maybe not, but we'll find out soon. All right, the round is getting started. First up, we have myself, which is a surprise. So let's go ahead and show them how it's done. I actually really like how this turned out. It actually looks like a really, really good secretary outfit. This is actually from the Devil Wears Prada, by the way. Next up, we have Pink Ling. Hmm, Bruh. I'm not really sure about this. This doesn't really look like office sign material. I I'm gonna give it like a two. Next up we have Maddie Cookie Monster. This is actually really, really good. Um, I like the nice plaid color that she chose for this and also the boots. It kind of reminds me of someone studying at a library that more than a secretary. I'm gonna give that a three. Next up we have Cutie Tulips. Ah, oh my God. I'm not sure what's with these outfits in this theme. It's not, that's definitely not secretary material, honey. <laughs> Next up, we have Santa Cakes. This is not super bad. Let me take a look at it here. Um, I think the face is a little bit, it's kind of throwing it off a little bit. So uh, it's not really giving me secretary vibes either. I'm going to give it out a three. Next up, we have Genevieve. This looks like a cool girl outfit. Like, Bruh. do people not know what this theme is about? It says office ready looks with skirts and blouses. This not... That's not secretary though, that's like a school student. Next up we have Luciana. This I feel like would be more suitable for like a runway, like a model or something. So yeah, that's not secretary. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Last but not least, we have Buggy Snow Sunflower. Okay, now this is more what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for, although it kind of looks a bit strange, but I'm gonna give that a three, but this is what a secretary is supposed to look like. The skirts, the blouses, like, let's see who the winners are. We got second place, woohoo! So 
so far this challenge seems like it's definitely helping us win in the top three so i'm pretty happy about that all right so the last thing that we're gonna do is tired i think we actually did this in one of our previous videos so i'm definitely getting tired of this Bruh. just kidding and we're gonna make it on the head and i'm kind of thinking of wanting to use kind of like a flowery pattern next up we're gonna go over here and grab some earrings now i'm thinking about a combination so let's go ahead and use this and make them pink to kind of add like something maybe a little bit extra to it i don't know next up let's go over here and add this shirt and i'm gonna go ahead and make this kind of like this color i think i want to go ahead and use like a flowery pattern for all this stuff so that it'll kind of match up a bit better there we go that looks good uh these bangs just to kind of add a bit of a messy bun this one make it brown maybe this one make it brown add some more bangs maybe like this and make it brown this and make it brown it actually doesn't look bad <laughs> Let's go over here and add a saw phone just to add some nice extra touch to it. And I'm gonna make it brown. Actually, instead of the saw phone, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pillow because I just wanna be holding coffee and look like I'm tired. Like, that actually looks really comical, but oh hey, it, it can be relatable. <laughs> Next, let's go over here and add some pants because this girl needs some pants on. She also needs some bunny slippers too, so I'm gonna add those. Now, I'm trying to figure out what else I can add to this because I don't have too much more time. I'm gonna add a bow on the back. Okay, let's add some socks and though they won't be visible, but it'll take up an item space. Next up, let's add, let's just kind of add like maybe a whole bunch of different necklaces. I can't think of anything else that I need to add for this, honestly. Maybe these two, just to kind of add. Hey, that actually doesn't look bad, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. That actually looks pretty good. I'm actually thinking I'm probably not going to make this challenge because I'm already almost running out of time, and I'm trying to figure out all of what the heck I want to add to this because I am already almost out of time, so I'm just probably going to have to go with this, basically. I almost made the challenge. I almost made the challenge, but not quite, not quite. First up, we have myself and my tired, Bruh. tried, and true fit. Let's just go ahead and sleep. Sleep it off with some coffee and some tea. Next up, we have Inkling, and this is definitely really cute. I love the cute bear ears and the cat, so I'm gonna give that a four. Next up, we have Maddie Cookie Monster, and this is super cute as well. I love her little hairdo she's got on here and her teddy bear. Looks like she's ready for a good sleepover. I'm gonna give that maybe like a four as well. That's not bad. Next up we have Cutie Tulips. This is not super bad either. I would see this definitely more for winter time, but I kind of felt like this could have used a little bit more, maybe like some socks or something. So next up we have Santa Cakes and I definitely like what I see here. This is really pretty cute and pink. And I love how she added sleepy eyes for the face. So I'm gonna give this a five. That is a really good one. Next up we have Luciana and this is not a bad one. I like the pants. It's nice, comfy, relaxing. I do think the shoes could go though, like maybe with some bunny slippers or like maybe some socks would have been better, but I'll give it a three. Next up, we have these two, Willow and VMW, and they almost matched. Like they did match in the face and stuff like that. And their outfits are definitely cute. I'm gonna give both of them four stars for the effort. They did pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and see who the winners are. Good job, ladies. We did place this time, but that is absolutely fine. I'm just so glad that we did good in the other two rounds before this. But we ended up getting fourth, which is pretty good to me. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay of Dress to Impressed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications. And also, let me know if there's any other gameplay videos you want me to do of this game, like cool challenges and stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.